Hello, my dear. Happy welcome to this uh, global intercontinental heaven and earth summit, specifically designed to empower you today. You know, scientists find out that human beings could use just 5% of their potential because another 95 is came from God. And this is all our summits about. We are mobilized the world that God could help us in our real life. Uh, one hour, very intense um, uh, summit that you could rejoice in direct presence of God and uh, have the most powerful uh, message, powerful inspiration for all week and month and year ahead. So happy welcome. Let me start with our program. We will have a uh, worship music uh, and then we will go with the uh, presentation. And then we go with the um, word of God. And finally, we go with the most powerful uh, and greatest uh, inspirations uh, ever prayers that is shaking the earth and typhoon it so Okay, 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 okay. So good uh, worship music. Uh, let me go further with our global um, um, summit and direct presence of God. So good to be together. So good to rejoice together. Happy welcome, everyone. Uh, let me go further with the presentation today. We speak about resurrection. You know, the resurrection is very important uh, uh, for believers and non-believers. And you will find out how this resurrection 
actually all happened. So um, it, as this is life and death, uh, most impar important uh, uh, message to you, to your family, community, country, the world, take notes and also share this message to billions, uh, up to presidents for all 8 billion plus people. All of them need resurrection. All of them live in hell for now. As you see, everyone is fighting in wars. So let them liberate right now. Welcome back to the Path to Happiness, our series on the Unification Principle. I'm your host, Dr. Tyler Hendricks. In our last session, we discovered how Hello, believers the presentation. thought that and resurrection go with means the, the saints the who were dead Happy would come back to Happy physical life. So. But we saw that the Bible actually teaches oh, that you. physical death life, to come back to spiritual life, separate from Satan's realm, be reborn as God's child, and develop your spiritual standard through good spiritual practices. Thus, resurrection is a process. But what about those who, who departed already to spirit world? Is there a process of rebirth and resurrection for them? Do with life on earth for us. We want to talk about these important points in today's session. According to the principle of creation, the growth of the spirit is possible only through living a good life on earth. The growth of the spirit requires the give and receive action of life elements from God and vitality elements from the physical body. The spirit like everything, goes through three stages of growth, formation, growth, and completion, to reach full maturity. In any era, human beings can revive and resurrect themselves to some spiritual level, according to the level of God's words, the life elements, and their own practice, the vitality elements. Whatever spiritual form a person reached on the earth is exactly where they will go and live as a spirit person in the spirit world after they shed their physical body. God has been carrying out the process of resurrection of these spirits, as well as people on earth, in the history of the Bible. Let's take a look. For generations after the fall, there was no spiritual growth, no resurrection, no word of God, we call this very sad era the era to lay the foundation for resurrection. From the time of Abraham, God began the providence of resurrection based on making offerings and, after Moses, following Human beings could raise themselves to be righteous by having faith in Jesus Christ and the gospel and fulfilling their portion of responsibility. Therefore, this era is also called the age of attendance by faith. So this New Testament age, the era of justification through faith, during this time, people needed to have faith in the new words of the New Testament age and accept Jesus and fulfill their portion of responsibility to live as Jesus taught us to live, to attain righteousness through faith in Jesus, and thereby achieve growth stage resurrection into life spirits. Human beings will attain spiritual salvation, and this will enable the spirit body to become a life spirit. According to the principle of creation, the place where human beings who have attained the life spirit level live is called paradise. As Jesus told the thief who accepted him on the cross, he said, this day you will be with me in paradise. When Jesus returns as the Lord of the second advent, he will bring salvation that is both spiritual and physical. 
those who attend him will gain admission to the kingdom of heaven, which is at hand. So this is the age of justification by attendance, of living one's life completely in God's hands. And God will be able to work through the Lord and his bride to free us from the original sin and make us into divine spirits. We become divine spirits. Of course, this requires our great effort and love, which is, again, our portion of responsibility. We gain the guidance to do so through attending the Lord and his bride. Now, what about those spirits who went to the spirit world without having reached the divine spirit level? Those who passed away without attaining completion are required to descend to the earth and receive help from people on earth to fulfill their portion of responsibility and attain resurrection in concert with that person in the physical world. This resurrection is like the second coming of every spirit person who ever lived. Form stage spirits from the Old Testament age who lived a life of practice of the law and accepted and worshiped God returned to the earth after the coming of Jesus in order to attain their goal with the help of the believers in Jesus who are living on the earth. Thereby, they were able to resurrect into the life spirit stage. And that was the meaning of the biblical passage of the Old Testament saints rising out of the tombs and being seen in the city of Jerusalem. The returning spirits and the believers on earth who cooperate with them in the returning resurrection process benefit equally. Therefore, Matthew 18, 18 says, Whatever you bind here on earth, you shall bind in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. The spirits in paradise who believed in Jesus in the New Testament era will return to the believers at the second coming of the Messiah. The, these spirits will assist them to attain the divine love as divine spirits and become divine spirits themselves. When these believers shed their bodies and enter the kingdom of heaven, the spirits who, who assisted them to attain restoration will join them in heaven. In this manner, the providence of resurrection will take place and spirits on different levels will grow to maturity in God's love and go to heaven. This tells us that someday Christianity will become one family under God and end its internal divisions. At the second advent, the spirits in paradise will gather around Jesus and return to Christian believers on earth and cooperate with them. Depending on each individual's faith, needs of their ancestors, Christian followers living on earth will harmonize with the spirits in paradise who will inspire them to break down barriers on earth, after which they will be broken down in spirit world Hello. as well. And this will be a virtuous cycle. Christianity will ultimately unite as one. And the phenomenon the where the faithful receive revelations through voices or see visions or heal people is made possible by spirits who return and cooperate with them. This is explained in the epistle of Jude, who says that in the last days the Lord comes with holy myriads. The spirits of those who did not believe in Christianity and passed away and thus did not grow to the level of life Hello. spirit will also return for resurrection. Those who believed in other religions and passed away will require diff a different time period, depending on their spiritual growth level, to return for resurrection. These people will return to those people who believe in the same religion. They will cooperate with those people of faith and contribute to further God's providence of restoration and finally attain the same benefits. The Savior who will arrive on the foundation of Christianity is 
the one who the Buddhists look at as the Maitreya Buddha, the one who Confucianists see as the true man, and the one who the Shiite Muslims see as the Mahdi, is all the same person. The central figure whose reappearance many religious groups are expecting to witness is the same person. Since all denominations of Christianity and all other religions therefore will ultimately cooperate centering on this, this Son of God to attain God's providence of restoration centering on the Savior, not just Christians, but all religions will ultimately come together to move toward harmony and unity and peace. How will non-believers, the people who did not live a life of faith while on earth, attain resurrection? The spirits of conscientious people will return to people of good conscience, conscience on the earth and will cooperate in fulfilling God's providence of restoration with their help and reap the mutual benefits. What about outright evil people? God designed what we call indemnity conditions to rid human beings of our sin, liberate us from sin, release us. We can attain the benefit of resurrection when we cleanse our sin by fulfilling what we call conditions or actions of indemnity, which means basically reversing or correcting a sin or a selfish action. And we all know we've got lots of sins and selfish actions to to get out, to get rid of. Now, according to unification principle, a sin is any action or thought that reciprocates with Satan, with selfishness. People who go to spirit world with a lot of that accumulated feel terrible and tormented with regret and fear, anger and resentment. And we all have some of that in us. How can anyone resurrect through that? Again, Nothing happens without finding a partner on the earth. So let's talk about evil spirits. Evil people in the spirit world are object partners to Satan. And their object partners are the spirits of evil people on the earth. We on earth help them carry out evil activities through our physical bodies, right? Sometimes. Whether it be selfish living or exploitation of others, or outright criminality. So the work of Satan can be traced to evil spirits that manifest through the physical activities of people living on earth. These evil spirits can attain complete resurrection too. When their counterparts on earth accept the result of their activity as indemnity to cleanse their sin and have gratitude for the opportunity we resist the impulse to do evil. We go through the same temptations or victimization or troubles that cause the spirit's evil action and we turn it around by overcoming the temptation or enduring the troubles through healing. The evil spirit gives a lot of problems to us on earth, but we follow the principle and if we live for others and have unchanging faith, with a grateful heart, eventually the evil spirit will change, will resurrect. This takes tremendous personal strength. So we need to support each other through family ties and friendships, prayer and spiritual practices to get through times of personal temptations and trials. Eventually, all spirits will resurrect through their own conscience given by God, and find their way to God's love because God is our true parents. He searches to find every lost sheep and to guide us to green pastures and still waters and to restore our souls. Now you might ask, to what extent is this all guaranteed by God's predestination? Does God plan everything? Or is everything up to me? Which means it might not work out, nothing is guaranteed? The answer is found on the topic of predestination, and we're going to talk about it in our next session. Thank you so much for listening.
Yes, uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Dr. Hendricks. Uh, let me go further with the words of God from the Messiah Sangaming about the uh, uh, scripture of peace. So let's read it together and take it as this is a word of life. Take it to your heart and practice it. Peace will be realized only when there is a king of peace. Should the human beings of God be the king of peace it uh, does goes without saying that god should be the king of peace if you understand uh, what kind of god the god of peace is you can become his child by doing so you will become his heir who can inherit his royal authority okay so let me inherit today uh, royal authority of god through the global prayer chain so we invite uh, right now our greatest um, um, priest from the East, uh, our Ambassador Rajamoni, to say the most powerful prayer for peace and the uh, greatest uh, empowerment today. Happy welcome, dear uh, Rajamoni. Please pray one minute for peace and empowerment. Okay, let us pray. Our loving our Lord, we just thank you in this very concrete moment. We are again gathered before you as lack of <coughs> our ability. Jo God, you bless us, thy own knowledge, power, and civilness. Especially, we want to pray for resurrection and second coming of Christ so that we can be able to perform all of our duty equip us, enable us. And also we would like to pray for our mm, country, for our ministry, for our community. So uh, now we are having mm, a flood situation all over the Bangladesh. And you bless us to recover from this flood, um, destructive situation. And also we would, we would like to pray for our community they still not believing and they are practicing uh, various kinds of religion which is <coughs> unaccepted by you and which is led by fallen angels and lead to hell so um, no, we don't want to uh, let them go hell you enable us so that we can be able to continue that. Uh, you supply that you know less power Mm, and a series so that we can be able to challenge and in the, in the name of Jesus Christ. And also we would like to pray for our um, global peace mission as we have been uh, having every day uh, meeting and also praying to um, global peace mission, ambition, um, aims and objectives. So that we can be able to uh, follow and um, may be able to reach our goal. Yes, uh, thank you so very much, dear uh, priest Rajamoni, so powerful prayer from the Bangladesh, uh, light from the east. Uh, let me go further and invite our. Um, uh, greatest um, uh, ambassador uh, Stefan to st say the most powerful prayer for peace and uh, empowerment today. Happy welcome, dear Stefan. Uh, can you please uh, pray down, turn on your microphone? Hopefully the network is okay. Thank you. It's okay. We pray for the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh, Father, creator of heaven and earth, by your providence, all things were created and they are good. 
we are here before you to procreate what you have created so that we may live in peace lord renew in ourselves the love of environment the love for our brothers and sister and more so the love for you so that we may do everything in a harmony we may empower our brothers and sisters with the love to make them sustainable and realistic in their goal as we pray for the peace goal 2027 lord give us the wisdom give us the knowledge and understanding so that we may know what we are doing more so we may acknowledge you in everything we do every day of our life we pray for four m's manpower to empower each other to be resourceful for the gift of peace material lord provide us with the necessary materials tools machines which are necessary to facilitate all the work you entrusted to us and also we pray for money the financial cash flow that may renew what is old to become new lord we dedicate this hour for you and for humanity and the whole creation groaning on this earth for peace we pray all this through christ our lord amen 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 thank you amen 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 thank you so very much dear ambassador stefan so powerful prayer from the uganda we love uganda we love africa and let me go to asia and invite our um, uh, priest uh, naim our peace ambassador naim uh, barkat please turn on your microphone and say the most powerful prayer for peace and empowerment today happy welcome dear naim uh, please pray for peace and empowerment today yes uh, thank you so much uh our, our father we pray for today a meeting and conversation we are thankful for uh, this group and we are thankful for this ministry global peace uh, network and world uh, i want your blessing i want your blessing for global peace network uh, ministry i I pray for this ministry that you use this ministry in all world. Use this ministry in Pakistan, place by place, uh, with us. And uh, I hope a lot of people receive blessing, uh, global peace network, and heal and receive blessing in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you very much, dear um, uh, Ambassador Naim. So powerful prayer from Pakistan, uh, from the East. Uh, please uh, join my prayer too. I would love to uh, send the blessing from my side. Yeah, please join my prayer. Uh, dear Heavenly Parent, we are so happy to meet you alive here. Our Heavenly Parent, our greatest parent, our historical parent that you are taking care of for, from all of us from the beginning of the humanity uh, and even 
before you plan everything for your children but unfortunately uh, there was a fall and everything fell down and uh, and uh, everything get uh, distracted but um, now as we live in the precise and coming time you lead us with all you might to unite with the precise and coming all the begotten only begotten son only begotten daughter and uh, build substantial kingdom we are not uh, praying about the um uh, um, castles in the clouds but the real substantial peace uh, world of peace a uh, world of peace in our life in our family community country the world and uh, the in every human heart and every human family love and every uh, community model peace community and in every 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 country dear heavenly parent this uh, global um, uh, resurrection start already with the messiah and coming and we are now in the uh, global second and Pentecost after Christ. It is just so powerful that he's resurrecting lives and resurrecting families and communities country in the world. And we are so happy to be together, to join together, to, re, uh, to just uh, uh, enjoy this blessing like in the, in the, in the mother womb we are in the, um, this ambiotic uh, for we are the same right now around us is true love of God and let this true love as we feel right now right here in this concrete meeting in this concrete time uh, let this uh, true love go go in every corner of the world dear heavenly parent this is our aim this is what we are doing every day every hour every second we accelerating god kingdom we are just working every day and never stop we just go straight with god with heavenly father and heavenly mother our heavenly parents and let we accelerate it even more quickly uh, dear heavenly parent as we pray for all the plus people on the earth for their salvation blessing healing prosperity and the most important resurrection, most powerful resurrection that is resurrected even presented with nuclear weapons from hell to heaven. All it belongs, we pray for all of them and not just for them. I pray for my brothers and sisters who join here uh, right now, right here in this concrete time, this concrete uh, blessed time, this concrete uh, meeting. There is um, uh, billions of uh, um, uh, people on the earth. There are many prepared people who joined the baptism missions uh, billionaires uh, um, prime ministers uh, kings and uh, and presidents uh, but uh, not so many came to this bucket of true love that uh, jesus invite us and therefore we are here those who understand you most prominent people on the earth i pray for them for rajamon in bangladesh for naim in uh, pakistan for their families for their organizations for their countries and their continents for Stephen in um, um, Uganda, Heavenly Africa, uh, Americas, um, uh, Oceania, and I'm in Europe, dear Heavenly Parent. Lead us, don't let us any second of stopping, just advancing the kingdom as we are in 1123rd summit a row. We just unite with Heavenly Father and Heavenly Mother hand by hand and lead this God providence. Just never stop. We sh share this blessing to all the people on the earth. We pray for them for their salvation, blessing, and heal it right now, right here. Let this purification of the uh, all the evil and difficulties uh, uh, sh shout out and resurrect on, on earth. Uh, dear Heavenly Parent, I pray, please lead us to, uh, as uh, Ambassador Stephen um, pray, help us to um, restore real substantial money for you, Providence, and real substantial people for you, Providence, and let you, Providence, accelerate day by day uh, as we are preparing for the 13th of April 2025 uh, as it will be the open of John Hill Temple of God's uh, Temple God the blessed uh, time so dear, uh, dear Heavenly Parent help us as we are building uh, for all the people on the earth uh, uh, this uh, global prayer chain uh, 
peace building mechanism you bless the world uh, peace by 2027 just like this 24 25 26 27 lead us to uh, bring to god back uh, his people and his territories dear heavenly parent lead us and receive this uh, short report uh, help us to reach our goals um, hundreds and millions and billions and receive this uh, short report i pray in my with humble heart and my name is nikolai karpalas and the family uh, adieu 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 um dear brothers and sisters uh, let me go quickly with this uh, biggest and most powerful um present from god is calling a resonating prayer let me resonate with jesus you know when there was a pentecost uh, there everybody received this fire so please uh, stefan and naim uh, turn on your microphone and ask god everything what you want uh, please uh, let's pray in big uh, most powerful choir that we shout out to the hell to heaven okay please pray pray naim pray stefan ja yeah. please pray Dear Heavenly Parents, we are so happy to be together. Uh, we are so happy to be together uh, right now. And I pray for my brothers and sisters who are here. I pray for uh, Stefan. I pray for Naim. I pray for Ajamoni. I pray for all brothers and sisters across the globe who are in this uh, global peace building network. We are uniting together one global, uh, most powerful, uh, so powerful uh, meeting. Please uh, lead us in this uh, uh, marathon to resurrect everything, to, uh, to heal all the evil energy and unite together and this uh, uh, most powerful uh, blessed um, energy of god's energy only goodness energy dear family parents we prepare it now for naim 14 of um, uh, september the greatest uh, uh, service there in uh, uh, pakistan please help them pray for stefan for his um, all his project to the agriculture uh, helping children use and the uh, church uh, with his ministry and the uh, building model peace community there dear heavenly parent and i'm in europe uh, uh, saying do all the project together with god dear heavenly parent is now is so great to be together resurrect together please receive this uh, short report i pray one more time for my brother stefan and my brother naim and this global prayer chain and this global um, resonating prayer with god with the messiah and coming let we see messiah and coming in dreams let we see everything in god's direct presence i bring this short report and my name is nikolai kirpales and the blessed family adieu 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 amen thank you very much family parents and beloved parents amen 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 yeah thank you so very much dear um, uh, stefan and naim so good to be resurrected so be to get together so much. Uh, so nice. let's meet tomorrow same time same place and don't come okay. alone come with your family communities country in the world up to presidents all eight billions are welcome to this uh, summit and uh, i know you will rejoice it and um, uh, so good to be together um happy welcome see you tomorrow same time same place oh.